Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears, next on Madden Football. We've had a lake effect snow band sitting over Soldier Field since about 9 this morning, and it's not supposed to budge anytime soon. The good news, the folks don't seem to mind here in Chicago. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? It's a rivalry that dates back to 1921. The Packers and Bears are underway from Chicago. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So the Packers make their way out for the first time, and it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter. And Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget, he had to exhibit a lot of patience, waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance, he hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. Play fake. Here's Love. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. First carry for Josh Jacobs. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. A fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading them out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way. First at Oklahoma, then at USC. Big time talent, big time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago. And there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him. And now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. Working out of the gun, Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here now, second and four. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Williams from the gun on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they've got it well across 
midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A lot of great quarterbacks from USC. Here's another one. The rookie's got a first down. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Swift going to try up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. To throw, it's Williams. Allen's got it complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he will have the Bears first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. We pause for an injury here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's Keenan Allen who's in some pain down there. But hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. To throw once more, here's Williams. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Matt Eberflus is going to take a risk here on fourth down. He is going to go for it. They'll try it now with Swift. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. I love those plays. Fourth and one, that's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Here's Williams. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Back at the 16 now after the sack. Here's third and goal. They'll look to throw for it with Williams. 
That's to the sideline and incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little I bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Play action this time with Love. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. They tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now they'll bring four receivers into the fold here. It's third and long. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They knew they had the free play after the penalty. They get great yardage, so they can decline that penalty. And one of the things we've seen develop more and more in recent years, our team seeing that penalty occur and still taking the big shot downfield and hoping to gain the yardage as we just saw there. They practice it, they work on it, and this time they're successful. On play action, love to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It's Jervon Dexter who got in to drop him. I know there would be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. And the Bears in the nickel. No, wait, they're in the dime. Six DBs out there on third. Could play an exotic coverage. Love. Being chased out left. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment.
Here's Daniel Whelan now. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine now from the 21. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Third down and six. To the air, Williams. And he is caught. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. And a change of scenery in 2023 worked out well for Swift as he racked up a new career high in rushing yards during his lone season as an Eagle. And now he's made the move to Chicago and is expecting to power their running game. Throwing is Williams. A little short pass. This is Everett. So just three yards on the completion there, and that'll make it second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and seven. They'll go play action here with Williams. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Kenny Clark able to get him for a loss of about three. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. The Bears on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Williams. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line to throw Williams. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Here's second and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. 
And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Looking to throw is Williams. And he's got his man in stride, complete. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. We all speculated that this offense was going to be a lot more high-powered, and Adunze's drafting definitely puts it in that category. Explosive speed, refined routes, and last year he led college football in contested catches with 21. Play action. Now Williams. Flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking to throw, Williams. He finds his target, Allen. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, a 22. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Now Williams, off the bootleg, looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Back to the running game with Swift. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Bears are able to add on to that lead. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL, so they're not going to be denied here, and they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? 
It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Second and 10. Here's Love. Well, a tough throw there across his body. It's incomplete. Locked incompletions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Love looking to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Now Love. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Scott to return it. The 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and the Bears take over. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Williams throwing to start the drive. And he'll find Everett there, complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. Williams. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. That's a nice job right there. Get the ball out to the perimeter. Get it to your guy in space. And he's just going to take this, turn up field, and turn it into a big play in first and goal. From the shotgun, a throw for Williams. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Swift. Will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. Through a couple of plays, this Green Bay defense is held strong. Now it's third and goal. Working out of the gun, Williams. 
Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On is Santos for the Bears' field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Santos' kick is up and through. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A promising sign there from an offense that hasn't done a whole lot to this point. Nice job to locate the open receiver. And it's good yardage and a first down to open the drive. Off the play fake, Love. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? Now a second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That's taken in, Dontavian Wicks. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. Hauled in on the out route by Melton. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Second and five. Love now. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. To throw now. Here's Love. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And it's a Packers touchdown. Luke Musgrave, 30 yards. And the Packers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. 
The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And it's now 13 to seven. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's Williams. A final shot before break. He's going to look deep for more. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The lake effect snow set to continue for the second half of action as we are back underway. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. They'll fake the give. Now Williams. And that's out to the flat for Swift. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here's Williams. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and you know, we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. We'll get this up to about the 44. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play.
Second down and eight. To throw, it's Williams. And some room to run now. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure. Oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Off the play fake, it's Williams. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Rashawn Gary able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. On play action, here's Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. To the air, Williams. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Here's Swift. Oh, he shifts past him. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Gerald Everett, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They make their second half debut here. and Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because 
they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game. Love from the gun. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The end result, 21 yards. I love that play, because in the snow, you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down and make a tackle in the open field, difficult in normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Throwing, love, a short throw to Musgrave. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Again, it's love. That's complete to Dobbs. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and seven. Play action this time with Love. A throw here right sideline falls incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Love. This is going to be incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears D. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And that is no good. And that will keep this a 12-point game. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. They'll go play action here with Williams. He finds his target, Allen. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big pickup of 38. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach. And that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Throwing is Williams. This is caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 
Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They'll run with Swift. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears are able to widen their advantage. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now the point after try for Santos. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that drive, four plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And the tight end goes in motion left. Here's Love. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. To pass, here's Jordan Love. His throw incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Love looking to throw it. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. 
The Packers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. Throw caught by Musgrave. And to the 46, he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle him almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league... A loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the 17, here's second and four. They will run the draw with Jacobs, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. On play action, love to throw. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Carlson's extra point up and good. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Looking to throw is Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 
36 yards on the play. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Play action. Now Williams. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Rashawn Gary, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number... It's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. On the handoff, this is Swift. And nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. To throw, Williams. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now that's a killer because you think you've got it absolutely covered, and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turned. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. On first and ten, it's Swift. He can't get him down. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Williams from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the... And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Swift, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Santos now to add the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Right. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Here's a ball deep for Musgrave. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. To throw now, here's Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Completes it again to Dobbs. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Now Carlson for the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Bears offense and running back DeAndre Swift headed back onto the field. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest.
I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. And he is going to have the Bears first. And that should be the capper. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.